I chose the Moda Him and Her colour palette. I actually used these colours in my wedding theme. My dress had irises hand painted on the silk and my bridesmaids wore colours taken from this in tones very similar to foxglove, amaranth and backdrop. I also hand painted 120 invites in an iris motif, again using these shades and had place settings, flowers, even fireworks in the same tones. When it comes to designing my own spaces, one of the most important things is getting the scale and balance right. You wouldn't believe how skirting board height, architrave and moulding width can really transform a space. Also, rooms need focal points, be it fireplaces, bookshelves, kitchen islands, even artwork. In fact, you should really think of artwork as you would furniture. And remember, you don't have to match your artwork to your colour scheme, although sometimes it can work well. Being an artist, colour is everything to me. And the Him and Her palette can be found in my own artwork too, particularly the deep greys, the purples, the pinks. I've painted pink and grey skylines and some soft furnishings in amaranth. And then the neutrals of light mink and winter truffle coming into play in the skin tones and fabric. While creating the Pinterest board, I drew inspiration from fashion, hair and makeup, particularly foxglove. That's that lovely kind of greyish, dusky pink. And turns out it makes really quite a cool hair colour. I have personal experience with this as I was asked to dye my hair to raise funds for breast cancer awareness and it was bright pink initially. But you know, it did fade to a really cool, actually kind of foxglovish colour. So I guess the lesson there is don't be afraid of colour. Try it. You can always change it later. And that's the beauty of paint.